One, two, three. It's Jake here at Midnight Science Club, but I'm not at the studio, Faraday Studio. Look, look around, it's different. What town is this? London. London, really? This is London, like in England? Yeah. Really? So what language do people speak in London? English. Really, could you say some English for me? Hello. <laughs> there, that's pretty good. It's a piece of native language. Her name is Lily, say, hello, my name is Lily. Hi, my name's Lily. I'm standing here next to the wizard. I'm <laughs> standing next to the wizard. He looks like a nice guy. He looks like a nice guy. But I'm afraid he might sit on me. But I'm afraid he might sit on me. You know, I'm looking for wits all around with the wizards in training. And I told the folks at the RI, I said, do you know any young ladies that are sharp, you know, witty? So I just want to see if you can think like a scientist. We're going to do some science with these. You have to grab your beard and go, hmm. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything that this little balloon could do to change the whole world? A property of this rubber that makes this balloon that is incredible. So I, I need a thermometer. Do you have one with you, a thermometer? Mm -hmm. Well, you actually do. It's right here on the skin that runs down the center of your face. Cause you know, you got, you know what nerves are. Yeah. You got a lot of nerves in your face and they all come up from your spinal cord and, and, they, and they're lying, 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 lying. They're like this. So I want you to take this balloon and just hold it up to your forehead. Now I will look at the camera and say, don't I look stupid? <laughs> don't I look stupid? There you go. You're going to stretch it as far as you can and then put it back up to where you measure the temperature. See if you notice anything. All right? So you're going to go like this, but don't do it yet. There you go. Oh. Oh. See if you notice anything. You ready? Three, two, one. Stretch it. Put it up against your forehead. Did you notice anything? It got warmer. It got warmer. If heat's going this way, the opposite would be heat going that way. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, heat going out. Heat going. So what would be the opposite of stretching? Crunching. That's what I've always said. Crunching is the opposite of stretching, right? Stretch it. And the heat's coming out, right? Now let's blow some of that heat away. Go. Get away there. Here. Get away. Now put it up against your head. Yeah, and let it go back together real fast. Oh, a little too fast there. Bring in the medics. Medics. Put it up against your forehead and let it come back together. What did you feel? It got colder. Were you surprised? No. You're supposed to go, oh my gosh, it got cold. Where did it happen? Heat comes out, heat goes in and it feels cold. Now, what, what could you do with that that would change the whole world? Around your house, this is going on in your house right now. Keep on. Oh, a fridge. Oh, a fridge, you got it. Did you see that? That little light went off. That was what we were waiting for. That little, oh, a fridge. That's kind of cool, isn't it? When that jumped into your head. Did you feel it jump into your head? No. Oh. This is what the refrigeration is based on. And that changed the whole world because people could save food, right? They could ship things. Let's do it one more time. Refrigerator! Go on. Refrigerator. <laughs> well, anyway, I want to give you a gift. Do we have a gift for her? Here it comes. You're now an official member of Midnight Science Club. Thank you. You're sure welcome. There's a candle. You know, Michael Faraday was known for his candle lecture. Real fine stuff, right? I'll do it first. I want to have you hold your hand up above like this. In case we have an accident, would everybody say goodbye, Lily? Goodbye, goodbye Lily. Lily. You never know. One, two, three. Just dump it and pull your hand back. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the hand back now. Okay, now. okay, let's try it one more time. It's kind of scary, isn't it? There you go. And pull your hand back. There you go. Give that girl a hand, Lily. Lily from London. This is a special announcement to all my friends at Midnight Science Club, and I don't get to say things like this very often, but we had probably the greatest honor given to us recently. We were invited to do a Friday evening discourse, that's a speech, at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. And if you'd like to see it and experience it, go to the Royal Institution of Great Britain YouTube page February 1st. Check it out.